Uh, this is my third attempt. Uh, I drew one earlier. Uh, it was looking pretty good. I was just so happy with it as I was drawing it. But I did not have the record set. And I looked over at the recording uh, software and I was like, oh goodness, I, I'm not recording this. And I was, it upset me pretty bad because I think it was coming along pretty good. Then uh, I I did another one not long after that, but it it was horrible. And uh, so finally I said I'm going to do this one later on in the day. And this is uh, like the way I do a lot of drawings. This is kind of uh, upside down. Uh, in fact, this is kind of sideways more than upside down because I've got her um, rendering of her right next to uh, where I'm drawing sideways. And I found this one uh, on a site about Da Vinci uh, on Facebook. And this is a CGI rendering it's supposed to be of what maybe Mona Lisa looked like in real life. And I didn't know if I could make a drawing from it, from just it. But I, I decided, why not? Just Let's just try it. Let's try it before we actually try one of from the painting or the, you know, itself from one of his sketches and I think it came out okay it's not bad I, I think if I did more of them uh, of course they would improve but I believe for my students this is a good assignment uh, she's a very well-known subject uh, matter you know a painting the Mona Lisa so I think students could learn a lot from trying to draw her and getting their proportions right so I just start with the eyes and then I lay out where the nose is at and the mouth and later on I put in the hair. I'm not quite exactly sure if I like the way I put the hair in. Actually I just don't. But I mean uh, my main thing was to see if I couldn't get the facial features laid in right and when I first started this I think I made her face too thin and then and it's, see the whole thing is a process when you're drawing. You, you start it at one point and then it ends somewhere else. But I said to myself, I'm going to try to, to try to draw today, and I'm going to spend at least a bit of time on it, and so I did. And here's the result, which is this uh, uh, picture of the Mona Lisa drawing, and you can see I'm, right now I'm drawing it upside down and sideways again. But uh, my style and technique of doing it, it's a little rough because I haven't... I haven't drawn anything in a while but not drawing isn't going to make me better at drawing so I need to get back in there and even if I'm not turning out artwork that looks very good at least I'm turning out artwork and eventually it will hopefully look better and I think that's the key to it is oh I wish I could draw people say and I say well just draw something and then if you don't like it draw it again and again until it looks better and eventually it'll look so good that um, it looks like a photo I don't think I'm there yet but I mean uh, that's the thought is to just sit down and draw and so what I've been doing lately and, and continuing to do is to try to draw like a famous artist and I quit here for like a few months and now I'm back at it and so I said you know I'm not drawing the Mona Lisa yet so that's what I'm doing now I'm drawing the Mona Lisa so start with the eyes and then go down and work on the nose and then the mouth and it, it kind of helps this kind of helps that the drawing itself the one I'm drawing is right across from it the picture so I can like constantly check to see if I have the lines right so I don't think it's a bad idea to do one side by side. And, and if you're not happy with it, you can always just start a new one. I, all I'm drawing on is a cheap copy paper with a number two pencil. I have a bunch of them laid out. And there's nothing really expensive about doing this because number two pencils are so cheap. And copy paper, you can buy a package of it with 500 sheets for like a few dollars. And number two pencils, they're, they're basically nothing. I'm not using mechanical ones. I'm just using wooden pencils, with, you know, that have the graphite in them. 
and the eraser on the end. I'm not even using a fancy eraser. And I don't have any blending tools. I'm just using my finger. So it can all be done with very, very uh, cheap materials. So right now I'm doing some uh, smudging with my finger and then I'll go back in with a racer. I think her eyes just look too hard edged and I'll work on it and try to make them look softer. Just It's just a process that I have to work through. I think I get it to look a little better toward the end so bear with me on this. And in this particular one, I was like, you know, I may not even get it to look like her. But I think toward the end, it does start to look a little bit better. Uh, and probably a week from now, I won't even think this one looks at all like the drawing I'm, I'm, or the uh, picture I'm going from. But for now, I think it's okay. And I believe that's what you have to do. You have to just say, it's okay. This drawing is done. I'm ready to do it again or do something else and I might do something else and then I'll come back to maybe do this one again later on. Leonardo da Vinci, he spent like years working on the Mona Lisa. I spent a couple hours. So you know, if I get it to look anything like her, I'm pretty thrilled. And uh, just drawing it with regular pencil uh, on copy paper. But it's coming along. We'll see if it looks better as the drawing progresses. I, I know there's problems with it, like the mouth is too full on the top, the lips are, and the face is just too hard edged around the sides. So it's good to know what's wrong with it and then try to fix that. You may not get it fixed on this one, this particular drawing, but you try to fix it on the drawing. I mean, as far as it being a, a drawing of a girl or woman, I think it's okay. Now I'm wanting it to look like her. So I'm going to keep working at it to see if I can't get it to look closer and closer to her. And that hair, I really like the way the hair is in the CGI uh, illustration. So I'm going to try to get my hair on my drawing to look closer to that. It's starting to come out. It's starting to look a little, a little less hard-edged. But it just takes a while. Don't don't get mad at yourself when you're drawing something like this if it doesn't look right to start with, because it's uh, it's a process. First off, you have to find a time to do this, and then you have to set aside time within that time to do it, and you have to make sure it's fairly quiet, and you're not going to be terribly disturbed. And then you just have to work your way through it. You have to make a commitment that you're going to work on the drawing for so long, no matter how bad it looks. Just keep struggling with it. And maybe you can make it look better as you go along. And that's that's what I've found works the best. It's just to, just to take time out of your a day and make a little time to do this kind of thing. Magic fairies aren't going to come down out of a tree somewhere and do your drawing for you. They're really good at making cookies. Or is that elves? I think it's elves. But anyway, it's coming along. I don't think it looks bad there. Uh, I think I could probably even make it look better. So... I'm still working on it. There, it's looking a little better. I took some of that harsh light off of it. But my point is, nobody's going to do this for you. You have to actually sit down and spend the time. And this one took hours to do. There you go. That looks a little better. And I think mine kind of looks like the one in the painting more than the CGI, which is really strange. But it came out okay. The Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci. And this is my uh, representation of it in pencil. 
I hope you found this content informative and entertaining. I like to draw stuff upside down and hope to keep creating content like this. Thank you for your support. And please like and subscribe. You can also help support this content by going to patreon.com forward slash art video instruction. Thank you.